Hi guys and welcome to my channel. As some of you may know, I'm going to my second year of uni. Like I said before, first year of uni was quite different to what I had expected, but regardless, I'm excited for this new academic year and I'm excited to see the new approaches we have for the blended learning. In this video, I move into my second year accommodation, but I do over two days. Continue to watch this video to see how it went. Hi guys and welcome to my moving vlog. I am going to be moving into my second year house in probably a few hours. I am going to take my train in just about an hour. Basically, with this house situation, what me and my flatmates, flatmates, housemates, friends, what we did was basically we decided that we want to drop our stuff in the house but not live there until September. So the housing company gave us the option of the fact that we can pay half the rent. So if we pay half the rent, we can literally drop our stuff in July and we can go and live in the house from september so that's why i'm going so early now when this vlog comes out it'll probably come out in september this is july july the first so basically the old tenants moved out yesterday so when we get to the house it's going to be literally the state that they left it in so currently i am in the car my brother's gone for an appointment so once he finishes or dropping back at school then i'll leave and go to get my train to swansea and see the house um and just also i need to move my stuff so basically i dropped my stuff with one of my future flatmates um you'll probably see her later in the year but i dropped my stuff with her because in her house her accommodation basically her accommodation contract finished on the 30th of june my contract finished on the 25th or the 21st i can't remember anymore but it finished early. so basically i had to find somewhere i could keep my stuff for five days because I, I thought there was no point of me taking my stuff home and bringing bring it back to uni i didn't think i see any point in that it was either a storage unit or just find someone that has um a longer contract than me and then luckily she had a longer contract and she was willing to let me keep my stuff with her so oh. so i have now lost track of where i am but yeah that's basically it um sorry that was scary <laughs> but yeah um i am very very excited to see the house um and i'm i can't lie i'm i'm i am tired of being at home it's been literally five days is it five days or four days can't remember but i'm tired of being at home i want to go back to uni i want my freedom i want my i want to make my decisions for my own life um but yeah vibes so basically three of us met at the train station in swansea then we made our way to the housing company to collect the keys then we walked back from there so once we arrived at the house we made sure we videoed everything in the house and guess what we found out so the first thing we noticed was the door you have to be so much better yeah but what's happening with the walls oh. <laughs> Yeah. Damn! Is it damn? Um, so then we realised there was some sort of problem with the living room wall, which we had never ever seen before. So that was quite concerning. Because every time we went to visit the house with the girls, they had something covering the walls, and we didn't realise that it was covering that. What is this? Is this my clothes? Yeah, so we have to buy one. Yeah. That's. Um, oh, there's a kettle. Is this jar? I don't know what that is. It's, um, I think it's a washing machine. It's not, it's no, it's not because the washing machine's there. Oh, which one's this one? I think it's a jar. What? How do you open it? it? <laughs> I can't believe I actually asked these questions. What is it? Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's dry on. Oh, that's yeah. nice. And there's, and there's two no fridges. Is that I'm drying my clothes outside in this, in this house. No. In this house? <laughs> mm. this, this is the bathroom that I actually like. Yeah, yeah this is cute. So we've gone to the house. Um, It's still messy, obviously, like, given that they just moved out yesterday. Yeah. But we'll give them the benefit of the doubt that yeah. by September everything should be done. Hopefully, yeah. Um, it, it's out of 10 what we're doing to it. Right now? Yeah. Five? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I think yeah. they're fine. There's, 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 there's actually nothing. Yeah, we have five, six. But I feel like there's small problems, like the yeah. darkness, the yeah. window. I just tried to open the window and there was a tape around the window. Like, I don't know if that's just from the way the girls kept it for one year or if it's just actually the house. So we're yet to find out. You can. So, oh, we look a bit, a bit. Um, you know. <laughs> we got into a slight dilemma. Basically, we our contract for our house now starts started on the first, and our what's it? Hall's contract finished or last week. Finished last week, basically. And we were looking for places to keep our stuff. So, mm -hmm. 
a group of friends kindly offered to help us out. So we all put our stuff in different places. Um, Rachel put her stuff with someone else and it just happened to be they're not in right now. And it sounds like they're not coming back today. No, no, no. Don't say it like that. <laughs> only, one <laughs> <of them. laughs> only one of them is not coming back today. But, um, and then we haven't heard from the other two. Cause we're just waiting for a call to tell us about the other two. But right now, Rachel can't go anywhere. Yeah, she's just surfing it. Rachel away. has spent £60 to come here to move Yeah, it's expensive. Why are you talking about me? You have more <laughs> So basically, I put my stuff with one of our future flatmates. Her name's Abby. Housemate. Uh, oh, housemate, sorry. Like, yeah, whatever. But I put my stuff with her. So basically, she has a flatmate that drives and he's driven her down and brought her stuff, but she's going twice. So if the second time she comes back and then goes back, I'm gonna follow her and then get my stuff. But I just got, I have a lot of stuff, so we'll see how it goes. And then Funke is waiting for the storage company. He, so bloody cool me back. Yeah, they don't want to pay for 40 pounds to go there and back. Yeah, because it's really far. It's far. So. We're just all in a dilemma. And you know what's funny? I thought I was gonna be back at home by five. I was going to take the 2.34 train to get home at 5, but what time is it right now? Nearly <laughs> 3. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's not happening anytime soon, and the trains to where we're from is every hour. So, we're just here vibing at this point, just enjoying. So, one by one, we all found solutions to our problems. So then we had our stuff in the house, and we started moving our stuff into each individual room. So it is currently after four. She meant to meet someone from home in one hour, but the train takes to get to my area. So there's no chance that link up's happening again because it's taking way longer than I expected. Currently, this is where I am. So after we arranged our stuff into each room, then we made our way to the train to go home and come back in September. <laughs> Today is the official move out slash move in day. Um, I am very, very excited. I feel like my family is more excited than me because they just want me to get out on yeah. feelings mutual. But yeah, um, so right now I've basically got all my stuff packed and I'm just waiting for my friend to come pick me up and then we're going to go straight to Swansea. Basically yesterday what I did was I tried to do a, a sentimental kind of video thing with two family members and I was going to talk about what they miss about me all that kind of stuff. It kind of didn't go out the way I planned. So yeah. the first question is, when I go to uni, will you miss me? No, oh, first of all, who are you? No, I will not. Oh. I yeah. don't know you. Okay, um, um, anyways, I am very, very excited to get the house, excited to go back to school. I feel like I have, I've overpacked because basically when I left, I left Swansea with one suitcase. One suitcase because I dropped everything else in the house. I am going to Swansea with a lot of stuff. And I feel like it's just because I bought so much more clothes. But yeah. I will keep you guys updated. So after a very, very long journey to Swansea, I finally arrived at the house. So these are my stuff in the corridor and after this time I kind of forgot to video a lot of things because I just was trying to make sure I clean my room and did my room up before the end of the night. So stay tuned for my future videos to see what my room turns out like. I will have a room vlog and maybe a house tour as well. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, it can't be replaced.